So today we're going to be road testing this, which is the uh, My Health Checked Iron Deficiency Rapid Test. Um, quite interestingly, uh, it says the symptoms to look, at, to look out for are tiredness and lack of energy, shortness of breath, uh, noticeable heartbeats, the heart, heart palpitations, and pale skin. Um, these all sound very general. Um, and um, it's, it's one of those things that if you do have things that are, uh, that symptoms that are sometimes general, it is sometimes a good idea to do a, uh, a rapid test for something like iron deficiency, because that's, it's so easily solvable. Um, tiredness and lack of energy and shortness of breath, who doesn't have that these days? Um, and noticeable heartbeats and heart palpitations, uh, that's, 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 that's called doctor time. Um, pale skin, they, during my time at NHS 111, um, uh, we, the one thing that we had to be, um, very careful about was if somebody had pale skin, um, but they were from a different ethnic background. Um, because it's, it's, it's obviously difficult to notice. I'm, I've got Mediterranean heritage myself, so I, 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 I noticed that I, 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 it would be difficult for me to notice if I was uh, pale. Um, and so that is one thing to look out for. But I certainly remember at university, one of my clinical haematology papers was um, of a, it was a case study of a guy that was, he was in his 70s, um, of Central African heritage, and he had a hereditary elliptocytosis. Um, he'd gone through his whole life without even knowing that, that, that this was the case. And so something like this, to give you a kind of like heads up on the anemia front, really isn't a bad show, because as I say, something like anemia, you might have it, and, and, and because it's never really affected you, um, because you've never really noticed it, it's 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 one of those things that's uh, it's one of those things that it just it can be use, useful to to have that piece of information, useful to be armed with it. So for the sake of one of these uh, tests, ten pounds available from our website that includes postage and packaging. Um, we can then um, you, well you you can then at home on your take a look at this and then see if, if maybe that's something that, that you should be concerned about. So let's see what we've got in the box here. So we have the test cassette, the uh, instructions, always read them. Um, so as with most natural flows, we have the buffer, the lancets, bandage, and an alcohol pad. Um, I don't know if the, the, the sample collector is, is in the test. I, sh I should suspect it probably would be. Um, before I do any test, I've, I've always washed my hands. Um, before you do any lateral flow test, absolutely, you, you, you need to. So, as ever, uh, don't usually open um, a lateral flow test uh, more than an hour uh, before you intend to use it because they can be very, very sensitive. So, it's identified on it as a ferritin rapid test, that's useful. Right, so silica gel, advice not to eat it. I wasn't feeling peckish. Now, <clears throat> I need to explain something about the pipette. When you draw blood into it, do not squeeze it. Don't squeeze it, it will go into the pipette automatically. Uh, don't squeeze it and wait for it to get to the line. Um, the problem is, is that if you squeeze it, you'll inevitably draw more in than you need to. Um, so uh, it's 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 
so it's 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 advisable just to let it fill to the line. So on the lancet, remove the cap, and then make sure that you have your finger. I as I say, I I, I tend to think that the uh, that the middle finger usually tends to do the best job. Uh, but let's 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 see what happens. Oh, lovely, that's nice, that's nice. So, I'm not squeezing the pipette, I'm just touching it. So I'm trying to massage the finger to try and draw some more out. So you'll notice that it can be quite a painstaking process. So patience always needs to be exercised. Try and keep your hand down so that the blood will flow to the tip. So I've caught a couple of air bubbles in there. So I'll try and make some allowances for that by the time it gets to the end. By the time it gets to that black line. So just a little bit extra for luck, which you shouldn't really do. But to make allowances for the fact that there are air bubbles in there. Try and avoid air bubbles because they can hinder the accuracy of the test. I think we've got enough in there. So you then drop it into the well where it says S for sample and just very gently just drop by drop put it in there so pop that down So, you then put the buffer into the well. Some people choose to mix it, I generally don't. Um, because I think that it performs the test either way. It'll show it or it won't. So uh, this is a little disconcerting, and <laughs> um, it's actually come back. I have iron deficiency. Um, that I actually could potentially have anemia. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Um, so as you can see with most lateral flows, you have the uh, C line there, which is which shows that it was a successful test. And because we're looking for the presence of a protein here with something that should be in your body, the T should have a line there to show that it has found a relevant amount of ferritin in your body. By virtue of the fact that it isn't there, it shows that I don't in fact have enough, and as a consequence, uh, that would suggest iron deficiency or potentially anemia, um, which I need to look into. Um, so, uh, with, with, with certain proteins such as uh, HIV, um, you're looking for the presence of that protein, um, which would be a uh, which would be wanting to not see it. Whereas uh, the um, sorry, I'm just a bit taken aback. <laughs> Yeah, so you'd be looking for the presence of the protein there to be able to test whether you have the pathogen. Whereas here, the red line shows the, the presence of it there. Oh, it's coming up very, very faintly now. Very faintly.
So I think that potentially we need that means I need to when I go to the pub this evening I'll be on the Guinness. So I mean it could be down to one of many things. Um, it could be down to um, diet, but it's an easily resolvable problem. It's, it simply simply suggests to me that because it's 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 there and it's faint. It means that I do obviously have that protein in my blood, so it might not necessarily be anemia, but it might be a good idea for me to consume things that are iron heavy. So we're talking um, Guinness, spinach is another one. Um, but that, that, that would actually explain a lot, now that I think about it. Um, that would explain a lot. But yeah, I mean, that's an eye opener for me because now that's highlighted to me that I do need to make certain changes. This is entirely what we do, is that we try and give people the ability to empower themselves to make their own health decisions. This, as with all of our tests, is uh, available from um, uh, is available from our website, uh, cell-diag.com forward slash shop. Uh, I believe it's £10. I believe that includes uh, postage and packaging. Um, yeah, so uh, I think I need to, 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 to get off now and uh, put a whole new diet together. <laughs>